Hey, welcome back everybody. Well, here's my next project I'm working on here. This is an 03 Kawasaki. That should have been shut off. 03 Kawasaki Prairie 650. Now it came in, the motor was locked up. And there's why. This oops, came off, beat the heck out of that thing, didn't it? Dropped the valve. She just bent that one on the pick. See that one shot, and then if you can look in here, if you can hear it a little. Uh, looks like it gets you in here. There's the piston, all beat up. Yeah, so she dropped the valve. So, and, um, so I had to get, first of all, it was locked up, so I was afraid it might have been the crank, but uh, further inspection, all I had to do is pop off these inspection for the valve and, uh, and, uh, seeing that the one valve was up high. Yeah, I figured that's what it was. So that's good news, bad news, because good news is the whole motor don't have to be redone. We just got to put a new head on it. You get a new head, new cylinder, and new piston. Uh, because when they beat around in there, they'd really tear it up. So that's where we're at on this one. And as you can see, we have an oil leak here, which is down in here. And there's two places it can be from the main oil seal that goes through here. Or there's a little um, pipe that goes from one spot to the next. So they could be leaking there. I'm not sure which one it is. So we're going to have to find out. So that's where we're going next. Um, I'm trying to think of what else it was. Well, they said it wasn't charging either. So I'm going to have to check that out. It's been sitting for a while. So probably going to have to go through the carburetors and check that out. So, well, I just wanted to bring you along to show you what's up next. And I see I, I got into it. And it's, didn't tell you to tear apart. It was just a little hard, but I'll show you putting her back together. I did this before. I think it was on the 750. I had a brute force 750, which that one's got put back because it has some other issues. <laughs> uh, the front cylinder. The one I didn't change, the front cylinder on the 750 brute force uh, the front cylinder is dead so I got to figure out why it's not like dead you know it's just not doing nothing so well first of all let's we'll tackle on this one I got what are all the parts and the, um, the gaskets and all the little stuff uh, that needs to get her together then I'll bring you back on and uh Take you through the process on this one. This is a 650. So uh, I just wanted to show everybody what's going on and what uh, the next project here. So this might be something in between this because this is going to have to wait for parts. So if it is, it might be a little bit to get back for, to this old three uh, prairie. All right. Hey, thanks, thanks for watching and uh, push the bell get some notifications and subscribe and see you never know what i'm going to be having what's coming up next everybody take care and have a good one hey welcome back everybody well here's my next project i'm working on here this is an 03 kawasaki that should have been shut off 03 Kawasaki Prairie 650. Now it came in, the motor was locked up. And there's why. This oops, came off, beat the heck out of that thing, didn't it? Dropped the valve. She just bent that one on the pick. See that one's shot, and then if you can look in here, if you can hear it a little. Uh, looks like it gets you in here. There's the piston, all beat up. 
here so she dropped the valve so and um so I had to get first of all it was locked up so I was afraid it might have been the crank but uh, further inspection and all I had to do is pop off these inspection for the valve and uh, and uh, seeing that the one valve was up high yeah, I figured that's what it was so that's good news bad news because good news is the whole motor don't have to be redone we just got to put a new head on it you get a new head new cylinder and new piston uh, because when they beat around in there they'd really tear it up so that's where we're at on this one and as you can see we have an oil leak here which is down in here and there's two places it can be from the main oil seal that goes through here or there's a little um, pipe that goes from one spot to the next so they could be leaking there I'm not sure which one it is so we're gonna have to find out so that's where we're going next um, I'm trying to think of what else was well they said it wasn't charging either so I'm gonna have to check that out it's been sitting for a while so probably gonna have to go through the carburetors and check that out so well I just wanted to bring you along to show you what's up next and I see I, I got into it and it's, didn't tell you to tear apart it's just a little hard but I'll show you putting her back together I did this before I think it was on the 750 I had a brute force 750 which that one's got put back because it has some other issues <laughs> uh, the front cylinder the one I didn't change the front cylinder on the 750 brute force uh, the front cylinder is dead so I got to figure out why it's not like dead you know it's just not doing nothing so well, first of all, let's we'll tackle on this one. I got what are all the parts, and the um, the gaskets, and all the little stuff uh, that needs to get her together. Then I'll bring you back on and uh, take you through the process on this one. This is a 650. So uh, I just wanted to show everybody what's going on and what uh, the next project here. So this might be something in between this because this is going to have to wait for parts. So if it is, it might be a little bit to get back for, to this old three uh, prairie. All right. Hey, thanks, thanks for watching and uh, push the bell, get some notifications and subscribe and see. You never know what I'm going to be having what's coming up next. Everybody take care and have a good one. Mirror's back with the Kawasaki Prairie 650. Remember we had one that had the drop valve in it. Well, we got another cylinder, a good cylinder, and I got a good piston. Here's that old piston I tore out. It seems pretty beat up, isn't it? You see that? Yeah, pretty beat up. And then we have this end here. Look at that valve crooked in there and the spark plug smash. <laughs> so that's more or less I'm not gonna use, but here I am. I got the new piston on here. I put oil in it, I got the gasket in there, and I'm getting ready to put the cylinder on. So it takes a little bit because you gotta fish this in here. See right there, fish that and your timing chain in there. Now before they do it, since my chiming chain has been so loose, I want to make sure that it's hooked on the bottom sprocket before I go too far. I think on this side it's it's hard to do that because it's pretty tight down there. If you look in from this direction, you can see where it is. So, that's what I'm going to go to next. Get that uh, cylinder on there so I can start putting this all back together, getting this thing going. And uh, so I'll get the, uh, put you in the tripod and we'll get going here. I got a few minutes here to work on it. Okay, here we go. So if I got you a good bird's eye view of it, there's the piston and here's the cylinder. Now, 
I put turn these rings so they're in the right locations. You got to turn those back and forth so that the gaps are not lining up with each other. And, uh, so I work this in there slowly. Now once you get that started, you got it just slid on there just a little bit. You got to pinpoint everything through here like I got a wire on my chain. Bringing it up through here. And all the same time you got to make sure this thing's driving right. Your uh, Now what I'd like to do with this is bring this chain up and hook it onto something. That way I know it's not going to be but wait, now you gotta make sure your gasket here is working properly. And you gotta make sure this, uh, your chain tensioner for your timing chain tensioner, is not all messed up, which I think I did there. Make sure it's going the right direction, chain's on the right side of it. Okay. Oh, but you know what I forgot? It just dawned on me. But I probably forgot. I forgot the guides I gotta put in there. Let me grab those. go right here now it helps hold this up too it was dawn on me was I was saying trying to hold that gasket up that I didn't have that issue before because of these see that there that serves to a purpose helps to guide it and it one of these is the return of the um, one is where the oil goes up and the other is like the return there now you can see it'll hold it in place I'm glad I've noticed that before <laughs> got too far all right all right now we're gonna go ahead and set that down in there slowly make sure everything's up like it should be should tap in there there it is now you have these bolts that helps hold that down so we'll put those in to help hold that down That'll help hold that cylinder down. Now when you put your piston on, make sure there's an F on the front here. Front, that means it's facing towards the front. So you gotta make sure your piston's in the right spot. So then we're gonna tighten this down. These two bolts here. That'll help keep that from going anywhere. Keep it steady. That's for the water ja jacket too. Oops. Okay. Okay, got those in there. Now what I'm gonna do is tighten it down. Just tighten that down a little bit. Be careful, not too tight. Okay, like that. All right, now I have the head. But one thing I gotta check to make sure of is that, and generally when I get these, I like to replace the valves guides. I think this has been gone through. Been cleaned up and gone through and just not too sh well there you go there's telling me right there this one here is pushed up I don't know if you can see that see that there the guy that's pushed up it's not even on there like it's supposed to be so these all got to come off I'm gonna have to do that before I put it on there 
and make sure to put brand new valve seals on. Because that's one thing that'll start burning your oil is bad valve seals. I mean, rings is ones, but generally the valve seals are what goes before the uh, before your rings do. So I'll uh, gonna have to do that. I have it that's in another video where I've changed those out for time. I probably won't show that. I'll have to see. I might have time to do that. I'll see. But these have been all lapped and cleaned up, and they're ready to go. So. I'll probably stop this video here and I'll probably resume it when I get the head all done and then I'll bring you back and show you how we put this all back together and I'll bring you along on the first start of it and then we're going to find there's an oil leak on this thing and we'll find that so uh, I'll I'll bring you back on this so I'll see you for you to just be a little bit it might be a couple of days for us. Have a good one. Here we are. I'm going to show you real quick here how to uh, change out the valve seals. That's what these are on this prairie. So you get this device. This is what let me spew it out here that you can buy on eBay or whatever, and it here to take out. The sp take off the springs and to uh, to replace these. So I'll show you. It's very easy. You just get the two set up like this, and just start screwing this thing down, and these will pop out. There it is. That one popped out. You can give a little help. Okay, here it is. Drop the other one out. There we go. Got those two out. Now we just loosen it up. Like that, and that pulls off. We got this in here too. I forgot that. So let's uh, not too bad a shape. It looks in pretty good shape. Let's clean this. I'll clean this. The carbon off of here. I'm gonna clean it off real quick. <laughs> there there we go got that cleaned up now as you see here here it is that was the old one. Oh, it just popped right off that was the one that was loose but if you look at them they're pretty it's pretty hard it's not in too good a shape put this it's not much, I mean, it's there. That's not much, but if you go with the new one, it's tighter. You can feel that it's a lot tighter. All right, so what we're gonna do is put a little oil on the sleeve thing here, on the stem sleeve thing. What is that? My thing. A little bit on that, let's put a little bit there. Before we do that, we're going to put this on here, kind of line it up straight, pop it on there. What I like to do is get one of these that's just the right size. And I like to put this on here. And just take something, you don't have to be a big old heavy thing. Make sure it's in line. Tap it on. Because that's one thing, you don't want that coming off. Okay, so we got this in here. Not too bad. You know, 
just not too crazy about how that's sitting down in there. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try to lap that valve in. And uh, let me show you that. I'll show you how to lap that valve. This is the valve lapping. This is what you use here. Okay. So let's just put a little bit on here. Let's see how. Put a little wet on it. That's not one to sit on. I just took it over to a wire brush and cleaned that top up, so hopefully we won't have the issue we had just then. So this will seal. Yeah, much better. I'm going to probably wipe all my stuff off. Let's put a little more on there. There we go. Stick it back in there. how good it fits all the way around. Looks good. Oh, much better. See? Now it won't spin. So it just needs a little help. Just a little bit of lapping on there. So you got a little bit of that. <laughs> Showed you there. So, yeah, it was just, um, it just didn't want to close all the way. And now that would have affected trying to start it. Or trying to get it going because it wouldn't have uh, worked right. All right. So now you can see that. We're going to put this back on. I push it against there and then come off of the thing a little bit here. There we go. Now you just screw it down. See, so you can see that. I don't know if you can see that. So you can see the stem sticking out there, right there. Let's get you down there so you can see it. See the stem sticking out there? There you go. Now, you can see it. You get a little grease, and you put it on there. Just around there. Because that little groove, that's where the key is going to go there. So let me get a little more grease on that. What I like to do is I like to take these, put some grease on that. I can get a little bit on the inside and some on the outside here. 
There you go. And then you lay it in there. Use it. Let's go ahead and lay it in there so that it goes inside that groove. Okay. I don't know if you can see that or not. Because I can't see what I'm doing and see what's on the screen there. There, on the other side. See? And they'll match up. See that? So I'll put one on this side and one on the other side. Now I'd like to throw a little extra grease in there on these ends and around them because when you go let up sometimes it likes to push them things away so if you look inside there you're going to try you see how you can move that well you want to release it so it's dead in the middle so it ain't pushing any of those little keys out as you come up so it's a little challenging sometimes so just loosen that up try to get it in the center of the whole situation there we go and see see it right there it pushed out on me so you gotta push the other one in but this one pushed out so you gotta push it back in screw it back in there push this back down where it goes Place. Now we're going to loose that. Loosen her up easy. And I think we got it that time. Then you can just release it. There it is. Loosen it up. You can check it. See? It's all good. See, it looks just like that one. That's the next one we're going to do. So. Oh, wait. Did I already do that one? No. I got one left, right? Yep. So, now we're going to do this one. 